12th standard english students now we are going to learn about inversion of conditional classes so that one type of grammar inversion of conditional classes so we have already learned the conditional class otherwise if class so that that is the first three types probable improbable and unfulfilled condition so additionally that uh, zero type also we have learned so totally that it will be cover four types of conditional class okay zero type type 1 type 2 and type 3 so that is conditional class so here now we are going to learn about inversion of conditional classes so that it will come for two marks the two mark grammar part okay just let us learn about this that example uh, so the definitions so how we will change so what are the rules you want to follow so that i have given here okay conditional sentences with inversion are more formal than those that follow the usual usual verb order so we have to make it the usual order sentences with inversion are more formal so this is a more formal sentence than those that follow the usual verb order we have to use the usual order second point this can be if the actual verbs are should are should were and had should were and had so this can be if the actual verbs are should so inversional condition is at the beginning of the sentence if is must so when you are change that answers the inversional conditional we should be omitted that if so what they have given the bracket so we have to use the beginning of the sentence so just let us learn that uh, for examples i will give you okay this can be if the actual verbs or should were and had next third point inversion is conditional sentences and the connectors what is the connectors here if so if is omitted if is omitted so don't use again that if just we have to uh, remove that if then we will use what they have given the bracket the actual verbs here so here for example should were and was also okay was should was were and had so whatever they have given we can use the beginning of the sentence then we will continue of this sentence okay can i repeat this uh, hints here conditional sentences with the inversion are more formal than those that follow the usual word order this can be if the actual verbs are should was were and had if we have it just we can use the beginning of the sentence then we will remove that connectors if inversion is conditional sentences and the connector if is omitted yes it should be omitted the if so don't use again the if if i wear a line for example here i have written here if i wear a line i would kill all the animals in the forest if i wear a line i would kill all the animals in the forest so this is a if this is con conditional conventional inverting conditional class you want to change so this is a question so what i have said if i wear a line i would kill all the animals in the forest so now we want to use began here where so question began with where w e r e so where so began with where began with should was so whatever it is so we will use the beginning of the sentence here where i line i would where i line i would kill all the animals in the forest in the forest okay so again repeat if i wear a line i would kill all the animals in the forest this is a question for example answer so begin with where 
where a lion i would kill all the animals in the forest so this is a pattern of this exam pattern okay so this is very very important this is very simple to learn invention of conditional classes okay one more examples here now so that's uh, for examples here if it if it not had rhyme we would have gone to the pattern full stop so begin with had so this is inversion conditional class question so how will how will we give the answer so begin with had the first one answer here so what is that if it not had rhyme we would have gone to the pattern so begin with had so had is a small letter here hatch so here capital had had it not it not had it not rhyme we would have we would have gone to that up to the that up okay so this is the answer so this one for two marks okay had begin with had okay so one more example if you should be late one second you must lost your job begin with should so we should remove that if connector so we can use the second one answer should should you be late once again once again you must lost your job you must lost your job okay so that's begin with should we have used should you be late one second you must lost your job okay what are the questions here this is question if you should be late one second you must lost your job so okay so this is begin with the auxiliary verbs what they have given we have to use the beginning of the sentence that is a condition universal of conditional classes so one more examples is one so that the familiar sentence that improbable that is imaginary situation conditional class if i had if i were a butterfly for example i would fly if i were a butterfly i would fly fly in the sky Okay. So begin with begin with that actually go when I a butterfly when I when I a butterfly when I butterfly I would fly in the sky. I would fly in the sky. Where I a butterfly, I would fly in the sky. So begin with that. So we have used beginning of the sentence that we have vomiter if it connects us. So that's okay. So this is inverse of conditional classes. Just we have to recall that the conditional classes, that the universal truth, the zero types, and then probable first step, improbable, and unfulfilled condition. Just I will give one sentence so that we can easily identify that which types 
and which type of conditional class we can easily identify that. So, okay, just I give you an example. If you study well, if you study well, you will get more marks. For example, get more marks. So that is, this is a conditional class. This is a conditional class, students. So just now we have learned the invention of conditional classes. So now we have to recall the conditional class. So first three types, probable, improbable and unfulfilled condition. Okay. So this is a probable or improbable or unfulfilled condition. Probable. If you study well, you will get more marks. Okay. So here, if you study well, study simple person. So this is a condition part, if class. So condition part, next a result part, okay. The result part it gives complete meaning, but the condition part it doesn't give complete meaning, incomplete meaning. So we can use here, okay. okay. So this is, if you study well, you will get more marks, okay. So this is probable. Improbable. If you studied well, you would get more marks. Studied. Okay, so here past tense. Studied well, you would get. W O U L D. Would get more marks. So that is second type. So just already we have learned, just I recall the conditional class. So because the inversion of conditional class we have learned. So that connecting, okay, this conditional class also is important. So that's what I'm telling you. Okay, next, unfulfilled condition, condition part, result part. Condition part, the past perfect. If I had studied well, I would have scored more marks. I would have scored would, subject would plus have plus third form of verb. Okay, so again I repeat, if I had studied well, I would have scored more marks. So that's for example, I am telling to you. So only I have given the probable, then we will change that improbable and unfulfilled conditions we have learned. I hope you all understood that conditional class as well as inversion of conditional classes. Thank you students.